Well, he better come it. But Jaden Chase, they have met the fans, them know how really I go on. Yeah, man, oh, move settings nation. And we no need no ladder. Yeah, man, Jaden Chase, and that one, we're going to bring another major story on the topic of current affairs. Now, if you're new to the channel, just a pass through. But you like the reason, and of course, you like the point of view. Well, I'm suggesting to you that you click the subscribe icon and then kick in the like button. Now, nation, Isaac Buchanan has just scored another major victory. Rights are concerned. Isaac Buchanan has quoted as saying, he hails the dismissal of charges as proof that the constitution still works, even though we have seen numerous constitutional violations right across the board, even taking place recently in the media. Now, nation, this news arise following the dismissal of fraud charges against reputed organization leader Tesha Miller himself. No nation, Mr. Miller was facing charges of cheating the public revenue, also the position of fraud documents and conspiracy, all stemming from a 2017 incident in which Miller had used a fake name and was fined a hundred Jamaican dollars in open court. However, when he returned to court on Thursday, a representative from the Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions informed Parish Judge Dennis McPherson that the country's Chief Prosecutor, Paula Lewin, had entered a null prosecute to discontinue the matter before the court. Now, Mr. Buchanan has been working tediously where human rights violations are concerned. When the matter was previously heard in May, Buchanan had served the prosecution with an application for an abuse of process and called for a dismissal of the charges against his client. Mr. Miller is, however, still serving a life sentence for accessory to murder. But he was also hit with new charges days after his sentence was handed down in high court. With regard to the three charges, he was accused of having an expired driver's license in the name of Marlon Williams, as well as a Bertie, which is called a birth, which is a birth certificate, bearing the same name. However, Miller contends that he has never seen those documents and that they were created while he was out of the country and he had no prior knowledge of these pieces of documents. And you know it go. I wouldn't the first we see the prosecution or the prosecutors go to some lengths where you have to say, yo. If you didn't print up some fake documents, or we don't know. Now the fraud charges originated when Miller was arrested and charged in 017 for making a false declaration after he signed his name as Marlon Williams on a document at Norman Manley International Airport on April 4th following his deportation from Bahamas. However, he subsequently pled guilty and was ordered to pay a fine of $100, which had also sparked outrage and widespread criticism of the country's outdated legislation. The fines have since been updated. Now, Buchanan, in his written application, which was being made under Section 16, Article 9 of the Constitution, argued that it states that no person should be tried for the same offense twice or for offenses that could have been brought at the time of the particular offense. Meaning, say, them could have did handle the matter during the time that they handled the first one. When contacted by local tabloids, Buchanan told them that today's outcome was proof that the constitution still worked. In the meantime, he said Mr. Miller was relieved as he felt that he was being targeted by the state, seeing that this happened hours after him sentencing for a different case. And then they must say, yo, this again. He said he clearly felt like he was the target of some form of government conspiracy. What is big about this case, donation, is the human rights factor and the fact that the state continues to violate the human rights of citizens not knowing that these constitutional laws must be upheld in court because without the constitution there is no court 
without rules, laws, and regulations, there is no justice system. There will be no laws for you to break and no consequences for you to face. Recently, we have heard the individual that was videoed saying that after seeing his rights and knowing they were violated, he is thinking of taking legal action against the state and him have support from the entire country even citizens residing overseas I say yo then a war go on with the freedom of speech wait, 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 has it been suspended has there been an implementation of a protocol that suspends freedom of speech that is another major constitutional violation being forced to make statements under duress while being recorded against your will i wonder if you know that some first world country after this take place probably the whole station they lose them work regardless of the individuals and the rank that they might hold in you know, the security forces i want to take a moment and think about this it's a majority of the cases that go before judges and that take place in court the human rights aspect of those cases are almost never looked at only the criminal side and sometimes the way evidence is collected and the case itself is presented goes against the rights given to every citizen on the country or in the country rather i'm mean, gonna also point out something else for everybody that has been freed and for all the times that the prosecution have decided that they are going to file that thing that you know this continues the, um, the court process it is always because of the rights violated either by the prosecutors or by the arresting officers themselves listen to me the court is not a place of gut feeling and the feelings you carry a court the prosecutors should carry evidence and if you don't have that then you keep looking you don't pay on yourself a tax dollars pay on you you don't feel like you don't tired to look for evidence that is your job so you can't say you have exhausted all efforts to find evidence i want to go to sit down with taxpayer money go out there and find more evidence look and look and look some more but you can't fabricate it because even if you can fabricate evidence against somebody even if you go try to prosecute them for the same crime or something that you know you could have prosecuted them for during that time you're gonna put it off for try to do it later for add to their sentencing because they never know if they're gonna get life and this is a way for them to say all right add some more time add some more charges rather well that is against the law and it puts the state in criminal territory because if you're violating the rights of your citizens then you are a criminal also and the state never wants to be seen in that light and what defense lawyers have pointed out year after year is that there are aspects of our legislation that are from colonial days that are not fit for this day and age and see this case has proof of that as well because them said them update the fine from a hundred dollar to they have not disclosed the new amount but them said them update it isaac buchanan pointed out that this case also proves that yes our constitutional rights are being looked at and considered because he did put in an application stating what had taken place here and when the lead jamaica's lead prosecutor siwagwan she have to decide say all right she can't go forward upon that one here like that it don't know she have to step aside now if i see your big up isaac buchanan because some of the things about her rights and some of the things about her constitution we don't feel like most people even aware or have even taken the time out for look upon the rights that they hold as citizens Zimi and as something we can and always point out the citizens know your rights. We see on national TV I tell the people them say people, you have access to your rights right there on your phone. Know them so that people cannot violate them. 
I'm feel like a, a definitely food for thought. But I said the one called Jaden Chase, the dancer, correspondent, the Gaza representative. I said, I'm reminded you now, if you're new to the channel, new to the movement, just a pass through. But you like the reason, of course, you like the point of view. I'm suggesting to you that you click the subscribe icon and then the bell icon. And until the reason again, my sentiments for you and yours is, of course, gonna live, love, and yes, prosper.